You're watching New Car Spin. I'm your host, Brian, and this is Tuesday morning. Um, I've been driving a Ram Power Wagon and a Lexus LX570 for the week, and I realized that April is Earth Month. So Toyota was kind enough to send me a Prius, and it arrived nice and shiny and really clean, and I figured I'd let it settle for a few days so that it can actually blend in with the environment. And here you go. This looks much better. I don't know what the name of this color is, but it's a very nice orangish red now. It's the Prius. Um, I've never driven one before. The Hybrid Limited. So as you can tell, I'm very excited to be a part of Earth Month with this vehicle. This is what the key looks like. And I don't think we even need to hit the button. We should just be able to get in. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so organic. Oh my God. I haven't been in this car yet, but I figured I would take this vehicle to Whole Foods today to get my avocado breakfast. And I'd take you along with me, at least for part of the ride. My battery's running low. I'm trying to um, solar charge my battery today. It's not working so well, but I'm sure uh, I'll get it, get it, ooh. What is this? Is this a, oh yeah, look at that. It's a wireless charger for your phone. Well, that helps. All right. I, th I think it's on. There's no engine. Or well, there must be, but there's no engine sound. What is that? Okay. Oh, now, now the engine starts. <laughs> okay. And there's a heated seat button, which is on high because it's a fixed button. It doesn't self-cancel. So if you left it on, it stays on. And of course, it's on NPR? No? Well, that's a shocker. All right. How do I turn the volume down? Oh, there's a toggle? What is that? It's a slider? This thing is funky. But I hope it's... Uh... What's it doing? All right. I don't know how to put it in just electric mode. Oh, here we go. EV mode. EV mode currently not available. Oh, well, that's not perfect. Uh, let's go to different modes. That screen is really far away, by the way. This is where the steering wheel... Okay, the steering wheel length is not that far. Like, it's pretty close to the dash, but... The screen is a little further away, but that screen over there is a good foot and a half away from here. That's a long way to look. Anyway, this is my first time ever driving a Toyota Prius. And on my way to get uh, my avocado breakfast, I figured um, let's go to Starbucks and see what we can get from them in honor of Earth Month. I got to figure out how to put it in reverse, though. What is that? Okay, so do you hold it like this? I guess so. And then you move to the right and then up. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure which hand you're supposed to use. And I don't know why it's beeping. Is there somebody... There's nobody... The visibility is all right. I don't know why it keeps beeping. What is it? Oh, is it beeping just to let me know I'm in reverse? It must be. Because obviously I'm, I'm... Is that how it works? All right. I'm sure there are a lot of people... What? It's in neutral? Oh, of course. Now the engine shuts off. How do you... Uh... Oh, there we go. That's much better. Look at this. This is what mornings in Texas are like in the spring. Every day you get in your car, you got to do this. This is, this is why it's Earth Month. Let me turn that volume down again. I don't want YouTube to flag this video. This video is classic. Uh, let's see. I might have to move my steering wheel a little bit. 
this is basically what it's like when you get into a press vehicle after driving so many different vehicles you have to figure out what you're driving and uh, this is what the experience is like some people like uh, I don't know they post an experience at the first impression and then by the end of the week they may have uh, different thoughts and uh, when I do my videos which this year I'm keeping them raw and real uh, this is what the first impressions are always like and then most of my videos though are done at the very end like almost literally when they pick the vehicles up so that I can give you a full full rundown of everything that I've learned about the vehicle from the week now you know I don't report horsepower numbers and I started doing that back in November at the LA Auto Show I actually said that to somebody in the media room and it happened to be Francis Anderton from NPR and she interviewed me for her show on uh, KCET and I was interviewed on NPR for why I don't report horsepower and this is the most ideal car for not reporting horsepower I could pull the numbers up but I don't think it really matters does it I think what matters is range and as far as I can tell it says right there 209 miles 48.3 miles per gallon but it doesn't tell me how much gas I have in the tank oh yeah there it does so in a full tank it says my oh no wait that's not my range that's how many miles are on this car okay see this is what a first impression is all about can I get in a car and figure it out without having to consult the manual? And obviously we know the Toyota Lexus, whatever it is, the Lexus LX570 failed at that. Oh, that's interesting too, little Prius at the top of the map. I don't think most of these graphics make sense. All right, let's go for it. So obviously you can floor a cold car in the morning when it has an electric motor, I'm assuming, because it doesn't have anything that needs to warm up. So maybe that's a benefit. Of course, electric cars or even just electrically driven vehicles don't really have good range because the batteries are cold, or so I've been told. This one, by the way, does have radar cruise or is that just brake warning i don't know and a heated steering wheel and of course what is trip ah there's our range 475 miles i'm sure i can blast through that in no time Well, I'm not going to say this thing's quiet. It definitely has a lot of road noise, even at 40 miles an hour. And this is not a concrete road, this is just asphalt. Um, so anyway, if you use this to commute, you'd probably sit here and go, ooh, look, a Starbucks, and you'd want to just make a left. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over there to Starbucks. Let's see, what else do we have here on this wonderful map? I wonder if we can go into EV mode now. Yep, there we go, EV mode. It's an eco and EV. So I guess we can conserve our electrons. Which is funny because we're taking uh... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Is a uh, Toyota Camry driver honking at someone, the pot calling the kettle black? Let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> no, I think that was kind of hilarious. <laughs> anyway, I think it's funny that we're taking an, an electric car on Earth Day to, of all places, Starbucks. Because if you were really Earth conscious, I think that you would not have uh, a desire to have anything that's been roasted or harvested or even brewed 
in in on an everyday thing you know it just seems like i don't know like you'd be better off smoking some herbs uh that seems a little bit more friendly to the environment than than drinking a acidic slightly caustic beverage but whatever I mean, we'll, we'll give it a shot we'll see what starbucks has for us we are driving a prius oh look this thing has a jbl stereo which is obviously like a very good system it's harman kardon right harman kardon which is now owned by panasonic which also owns bang and olufsen so i would assume that the stereo in here would be great um there are some design elements in here while we're waiting for the star the drive through here the design elements look pretty good too I couldn't tell you I was in a cheap car. It's not really that bad, plastic. There are no floor mats, by the way. I guess Toyota uh, forgot to put them in this car. What else do we have? The leather or pleather? Leather? Leather in an eco car? Does that make any sense? Let's see, what will we order today? Good morning. Welcome to Starbucks. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm very good. How are you? Good, thank you. What can I get for you? I'd like a grande hot chocolate, but only if it's uh, fair trade and sustainably harvested. Say that again? A grande hot chocolate. And what was the instructions? Is it is it fair trade and sustainably harvested? Um, the cocoa? I don't know. Uh, I don't care. I'll have it anyway. All right. So it's yeah. a grande hot chocolate. What else can I get for you? Can you put some whipped cream on that? You bet. What else? I think that's it. Okay, we'll see you at the window for 373. Thank you. Thank you. One thing I do know is that they're much kinder to me here today. I think it's because I blend in. All right, let me get my wallet out. I'll set you down for a second. 